Hello, I'm Governor John Carney, and I'm here with uh, Representative Heffernan and Senator Harris McDowell, and guests that Representative uh, Heffernan will introduce. We have a uh, and Jaffe, a, a Holocaust survivor, and Steve Gons, uh, Gonzer, a, a, an advocate, uh, both uh, members of our community. We're here to, to uh, sign really important uh, legislation and legislation that has been sought for some time by members of the Jewish community in our state here in Delaware. Uh, I remember when I was about to go to serve the people in our state in the US Congress, uh, some of my friends from the Jewish community uh, encouraged me to, to take a trip to Israel and uh, Israel and part of that trip was a visit to Yad Vashem. It was an experience that that I'll never forget, uh, which was the the purpose of that Holocaust memorial uh, there in Jerusalem uh, with uh, the number of people that were impacted, the, the photographs, uh, the stories that were told, uh, the recollections of individual persons. And with the, the goal of, of making folks understand and know the terrible history uh, that uh, human beings can do such things to other human beings and ultimately never to forget. And that's fundamentally the purpose of House Bill number 318 as amended by House Amendment number one, a sponsored uh, in the House by Representative Heffernan and Senator McDowell in the Senate to make sure that in Delaware, uh, our children and grandchildren and their children and grandchildren never forget because we will be uh, teaching the Holocaust and its causes uh, and its effects uh, to our young school children uh, so that they understand, so that they see what terrible things people can do to one another uh, just because of, of your religion or ethnic origin just terrible things. And so this is really important part, uh, uh, important piece of legislation. I wanna thank Representative Heffernan and Senator McDowell. I wanna thank all the advocates, the members of our Jewish community for their, their advocacy on so many issues, uh, including the state of Israel, uh, Yad Vashem and, and, and all of the, the monuments that we have here in the, uh, in the city of Wilmington uh, and in our community generally. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Representative Heffernan to talk about uh, what House Bill number 318 does to, uh, to, to uh, introduce our guests and, and we'll hear from them as well. Thank you. Um, the horrors of the Holocaust and the heinous acts of the Nazis are something few people truly understand. Entire families were lost, generations wiped out, we cannot let ourselves repeat these horrific acts and never forget. Recent studies have shown that 50% of Americans don't know that 6 million Jews died in the Holocaust and a quarter of millennials can't name a single concentration camp. This is shocking and frankly unacceptable. And then we must arm our students with knowledge we must teach them the painful lessons of the past so they may learn about the danger that befalls us when hatred goes unchallenged. This legislation will help future generations recognize and teach students in grades six to 12, understand the cruelty and suffering of the Holocaust and hopefully continue to lead us towards a more compassionate future. By learning how and why the Holocaust happened, students will fully understand and better understand the ramifications of prejudice, racism, and intolerance, and the consequences of inaction. The knowledge and understanding that comes from the lessons of the Holocaust and genocide provides students with the information necessary to combat intolerance, anti-Semitism, bigotry and all forms of hate. We have just marked the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. And as the years go on, we will have less and less survivors like Ann Jaffe, who will speak today to recount their stories. By codifying Holocaust education in Delaware, we are ensuring 
that survivors stories and legacies live on. And I'd like to um, acknowledge Steve Gonzer, who is the chairman of the Helena Wind Preston Holocaust Education Committee. And then I also will introduce and will give um, comments and Jaffe, who I'm very proud to say is my constituent and has dedicated much of her um, recent years to Holocaust education in Delaware. Thank you very much, uh, Representative Heffernan. Thank you for your leadership on this issue. Uh, your leadership on uh, education issues generally, and particularly on this, that's so important uh, to the people of our state. Senator McDowell. Thank you, Governor. Governor, I am extremely pleased to be a co-sponsor of this bill with Representative Heffernan. It is very important, uh, vitally important, that we remember the events that led up to and include the Holocaust, that we may prevent them from repeating. The past is truly prologue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator McDowell. Uh, Representative Heffernan, would you like um, to? I, I'd like to recognize Steve Gonzer. Okay, thank you, Debbie. Um, Today actually is an incredible moment in history for not only Delawareans, but for all future generations of Delaware students. Um, this effort to pass a um, Holocaust education bill has been over 40 years of hard work by many, many people. And um, today Delaware joins the ranks of 14 other states in the United States who have passed similar legislation. Um, well, Ann Jaffe is one of the few survivors remaining in the state of Delaware. At this point, there are no more than seven individuals who survived the Holocaust as eyewitnesses who remain in the state of Delaware. Um, the bill, um, HB 318, not only provides a stepping stone and a bridge from which students can learn about um, the Holocaust, which is probably the best frame of reference ever to study genocide, but it also um, allows students the opportunity to learn about the ultimate consequences of hatred, discrimination, and indifference, and other genocides in history that have, have no records. There are no um, documentation of, of other genocides. It includes genocides perpetrated on so many other people. And so um, on behalf of the Helena and Preston Holocaust Education Committee um, and everyone, we are grateful to Delaware State Legislator, the governor, and personally, this, this is a, a great um, honor to the victims of the Holocaust and other genocides, which include at least 50 to 60 members of my own family who were brutally murdered in the Holocaust for no other reason than um, pure hatred. And one last thing real quickly, I hope, I hope I don't offend Anne, but Anne Jaffe has a message that resonates um, hope and love everywhere she goes. And I quote it all the time. I hope I don't get in trouble for that. But Anne has <clears throat> always told students throughout the state, and it's true, there is no child born on earth whose first words are, I hate you. Um, so again, thank all of you. And I guess I turn it over to Anne now. Well, let me thank you, uh, Steve, for your advocacy, uh, for the work of your committee, uh, for your work in, in uh, helping make this happen. We appreciate uh, your good work. And please uh, tell us your story. And we appreciate your uh, testimony uh, over the years. And we thank you for sharing what was a very traumatic experience. We're, uh, we're just, uh, we're lucky to have somebody like you who carries that history uh, so that we can never forget. My name is Ann Jaffe, and I'm a Holocaust survivor. And I thank you, Governor Carney, Deborah Heffernan, our Delaware legislature, Steve Gunzer, and all many others who work tirelessly to work towards this moment. I only regret that my fellow survivors and dear friends who did not live to see this day. They are Helena Wynn Preston, George Preston, Dorothy Finger, Henry Kahn, 
Arnold Kerr, Terry Denneman, and I'm sure I must have left out some others. The importance of teaching the Holocaust and about genocide in Delaware schools is great. How can we expect our children to remember and learn from history they did not know? I am the last generation of first-hand witnesses, and I am 89 years old. And I am glad to know that when I will be gone, the schools will continue our work. I have spoken in schools, colleges, and churches way over 400 times. And I call every the, I called very recent history. Yet what I have realized, and I have learned a lot from our young people, is that many of them know very little about the state-sponsored, calculated, and systematic killing of millions of people, six million of them were Jews. Education in the first state is primarily, the education in the first state is a first step. It is making Delaware the 13th state in our country to make mandatory, the teaching of history we do not want repeated and to assure that the victims will not be forgotten. Future generation of students will learn the history of that period. We must acknowledge that it happened. We must teach our children the facts and we must help them process those facts in a personal way so they will realize this could have happened to them, to their race, to their religion, or to their ch culture. It was a tragic world event that targeted completely innocent people because an insane dictator came to power while others went along with him and others looked the other way. Not only will this help us raise a better generation of people. It will help Americans better understand the freedom that we enjoy in this wonderful country, the United States of America. Thank you very much. We appreciate uh, that uh, testimony. We know how much you've done over the years in sharing your story. And, and you mentioned, and it's been mentioned by Representative Heffernan that the uh, Holocaust survivors are fewer and fewer every day and that uh, Anna you may be the last here in the state of Delaware the best way to prevent genocide like the Holocaust is to hear firsthand firsthand accounts uh, of what actually happened and the hatred behind that and the people who made it happen and uh, sadly uh, those uh, voices will be silent eventually and so the way to prevent it the way to make sure that it never happens again, is to have a commitment to the, uh, by the state to uh, educate okay. the children of our state that it did happen, why it happened, how it happened, and so they understand that it can happen to them if they're not uh, very careful and cognizant of of uh, of genocide and 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 its causes. And so, to Senate, to Representative Heffernan, Senator McDowell, all the members of the legislature. Uh, to you, Steve, uh, for your advocacy and the advocacy of your committee. And I know there are scores uh, of others in our community that have worked for a, a piece of bill, a piece of legislation like this, as you said, over the years. Uh, to, that day has come, and I'll, I'm proud to be the governor uh, to sign it. I mentioned my trip to Yad Vashem. It was an incredibly powerful uh, nauseating, frankly, uh, 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 experience for me. I remember feeling visibly ill when I came out of what seemed like a descent into the, the depths uh, of the memorial and, and all that was uh, in there. It took me uh, some time to just, you know, recover and, and uh, it's important uh, that we educate our children as to the reality of what happened there, and this bill will make that happen. So to Representative Heffernan and Senator McDowell, if you have closing remarks before I sign this, uh, 
please, uh, please do. Um, I want to thank um, Ann Jaffe, who was also able to share her story in January with both the House of Representatives and the State Senate. And I believe that that really contributed to the understanding of our other legislators and wholeheartedly, overwhelmingly supporting the passage of this bill. Um, I want to thank the advocates of the Jewish Federation of Delaware. And I want to um, say that my parents were lucky enough to escape from Nazi Germany, which is why I'm here today. And my dad, Kurt Rosenbaum, did pass away five years ago, and he was able to share his story. Um, my mom is actually my constituent, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I believe that this is, um, it is so important that the memory of the Holocaust will be preserved throughout our state of Delaware. And, and I feel um, very lucky and honored to be here to witness our um, governor signing HB 318. So again, thank you uh, each. Uh, thank you to each of the legislators. There were no vote, no, no votes uh, in either the House or the Senate. Uh, was a, a tribute to to each of you for your work. I've been asked to, one of the more difficult jobs as governor is to be able to sign your name with more than one pen. <laughs> <And I've done laughs> Thank several, you. I've been there's been a request for several, so I'm going to try to do that. It's my privilege to to finish off this really great work by Representative Heffern and Senator McDowell by the advocates. Steve and his committee, and her testimony over the years to really do something for the future of our state and her children signing this piece of legislation on teaching the Holocaust in our schools. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you and, so much. Uh, this is where we clap, right? This is where we clap. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to do on a Zoom call. It's not quite as orchestrated. I do want to yeah. take a minute to, to thank uh, all the Delawareans who have are viewing this uh, on Facebook online and who will view it uh, later. Uh, we appreciate all those who have been part of the effort to to get the, the teaching of the Holocaust into the schools in our state. Uh, we appreciate everything that you bring uh, to the state oh, of Delaware. Can, can I add a postscript here? I, um, Ann Jaffe uh, promised to me, and I'm gonna hold her to this, that she would complete her next book uh, by or soon after her 90th birthday. Uh, I intend to hold you to that, and I wanna come and get a, uh, get a, bring a copy to you to sign for me. Yeah. You're wonderful. Your story is great. It's so important. Thank you. Well, we certainly look forward to seeing that next next book, uh, and and uh, and we appreciate all that you've done uh, for an advocacy for this piece of legislation and for the people of our our state in understanding uh, the Holocaust and its effects on millions of families and people. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Governor.